downtown St. Louis. This is News 4, watching out for you. An emotional scene in St. Louis County as police and firefighters from around the region turned out to pay their respects to the fallen officer. Just in the last hour, a procession of police cars carried the body of Officer Michael Langsdorf from the county morgue to this funeral home in Olivet. Good evening, I'm Courtney Bryant. I'm Steve Savard in for Claire Kellett. A man is now charged with murder just over 24 hours after a North County co-op officer was killed while responding to a call about a bad check at a convenience store. News 4 has live team coverage tonight with News 4's Paige Halsey and Russell Kinsall. We begin with Emma Hogue, who's been following the story since it broke yesterday. She kicks off our coverage from Wellston outside the store where the crime took place. Steve Courtney, as you can imagine, just pure shock and chaos out here yesterday. Officer Langsdorf walked into this market about 24 hours ago never knowing that he would not walk out. Now tonight we are hearing from customers who were inside the market when that shooting happened. They tell me they did everything they could to save him until paramedics arrived. Very traumatized. I've never been in these shoes. When I came outside, I saw multiple municipalities. Lachelle Barrow says flashbacks of Sunday afternoon continue to haunt her. She was inside Clay's Wellston Food Market when Officer Michael Langstorff was shot and killed. We didn't know how it was going to go out. We didn't think that it was going to be a gun involved. Barrow says this guy, 26-year-old Bonet Meeks, walked in and bought a plate of food from her sister before trying to cash a bad check around 4.30 Sunday afternoon. Officer Langstorff responded minutes later to what he thought was a routine call. We um, put the guy in handcuffs. The guy got the resistance uh, the whole time. A struggle broke out between Meeks and Langstorff. Investigators say Meeks eventually pulled a gun from his waistband and hit Officer Langstorff in the head, almost knocking him out. Investigators say Meeks stood over him and fired that fatal shot that went into his neck, through his spinal cord, and out of his chest. <laughs> Mr. Meeks was successful in executing a cop yesterday, and a good one. I instantly ran behind the counter and ducked down on the ground and just started praying like, Lord, it's my last day on this earth. Barrow says Meeks waved the gun at two employees before running out. Employees and patrons quickly ran to Officer Langstorff's aid, holding his hand and trying to keep him awake until police arrived. I just started calling now when one screaming and hollering, we need help back up officers are down. Officers came and took over trying to perform CPR, but it was too late. A horrific afternoon, Barrow says she'll never forget. That officer family shouldn't have to go through no tragedy like this. A tragedy still so many people are trying to understand. Now, police tell us Meeks was taken into custody near this store shortly after the shooting. We also asked investigators how they found out what was happening. They tell us they got a call from Officer Langdorf's radio. An employee actually took his radio and made that call to them. We talked to her coming up tonight on News 4 at 6. For now, live in Wellston, Emma Hogan.